I just wanted to bring some awareness of what's happening here on the streets in Staten Island. I know the, um, the, the news gets hard to watch and all the sensationalism, but I'm telling you, there's, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. And, um, and it breaks my heart, and I, and I ask that you just give in some way. And if you can't give dollars, then send a prayer, because these people, these people are in bad shape. lost everything, their houses, their belongings. Well, they didn't lose everything because they still have their life, and that's the most important thing, but gosh, some of these areas that were already impoverished, it hit, it hit everyone. It doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't discriminate from the impoverished to the well-to-do living on the shore. It's, um, it's devastating. and the power poles are just completely down. This is Staten Island's, one of Staten Island's mainstays, Toto's Restaurant and Bar. So this is the backside of Toto's Restaurant. The sand is six feet tall. Now this is just unbelievable. The, uh, the deck that used to be right here, and here's the deck over here. That's Toto's deck. Wedged between two homes that are also an utter and complete catastrophe. I understand why nobody wants to talk. No one here has a stomach to talk about anything. It's just too much. So many of them are still in shock. This is the foundation that John's house sat on, the owner of Toto's. That's the foundation, and his house is some hundred yards right over there. That's his house. There's, there's so much need here right now. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about what's going on. And um, if you can give, I ask that you do. <laughs> 